Yo, what's up guys? So another one of the big questions I get asked in this game is what are the best units for story and adventure mode or raid mode in All-Star Tower Defense? So today I'm going to be showing you guys the best units. All right, so uh, look for in your, in your in <laughs> inventory for one of these units and you should be pretty much popping off. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, help us reach 500k subs for our next code unit. And um, uh, hopefully the ASD update will drop soon because <laughs> we're kind of down bad boys. But hey, what is this guys? Woo we might have to make a new video about that one. All right, here we go guys. So first up got a big shout out to my boy trans dimensional He's the one who made this tier list. So uh, it's also the official tier list guys posted in the uh, Trello section So let's go take a look. There's actually two parts to this So part one and then we also have part two All right with a little help from my boy Ryu Jason All right with a little bit more detailed information that I'll go over in a second But first up we'll go with the tier list because I know that's what you guys mainly care about All right, let's go start down here with the decent units now. I'm gonna be honest guys these units might get you through early story mode, but they're not going to be very good for um, uh, like early for, for like um, a raid mode soloing. So uh, I don't really recommend spending any gems on any of these guys. All right. Now, this guy is free from raids, but if you're able to beat this raid, you don't need him. All right. Kuma. Um, now, Kuma, you might as well go with Law. All right. Law is going to cost you less gems and is basically the same unit. So I don't really recommend getting Kuma. But the one nice thing about Kuma is his Holy Enchant does pair well with... Um, uh, God Zamasu. So uh, he can actually do a little bit of DPS as well if you bring those two together. All right, and then we have Tengen. Now, Tengen, a lot of people, you know, might hate on me for this, but Tengen is way too old, guys. He is not doing any, like, anywhere close to as much bleed damage as he needs to. All right. And then these, these other two units, man, I haven't seen people use them in like a year. All right, next up, guys, we have the good units. Now, these units are a little bit underrated. Now, first up, I want to talk about my boy Chainsaw Man. Now, I know he is a, a tradable unit, but the one thing people don't don't remember about Chainsaw Man is he actually does boost money as well. So, if you guys don't have a Akasa, he's not the end of the world replacement. Also, what the frick is up with Chainsaw Man's clothes? Because Akasa has a 15% bonus, so he's kind of like a budget Akasa that does way, way more damage. Now, um, I personally would put him higher than good tier. He's actually really good, and he does have an enchant now. Uh, Katana Man is also very good. Now, Katana Man's better because he's the dark passive, so you can combo him with... um. Uh, with Asta and I actually did do that guys I commented him with Asta to be able to solo this um emotions orb so uh very good combo right there so any dark units are basically gonna be like have a higher chance of being meta so uh, some other units they have is a soggy now I don't really recommend this guy I have tried him out um, but you actually might be able to solo some raids with him so not bad now uh, John Joe I'm gonna say I'd probably put him a little bit lower he is a sunburn unit and he is electric, but he just kind of sucks overall. And I would personally almost always bring, um, uh, what's his face? Caesar instead. I forget what they call him in the game. Um, maybe he's closer up here, but, uh, Caesar Zapelli instead. I forget what his name is in the game, but, um, yeah, I can't find it. Yeah, that guy right there. What's his name? Um, Savon Master. Yeah, he's much better. And I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't really recommend um, her for any modes. Um, if you want a good fire unit, I definitely just recommend bringing this guy right here. Uh, all right, his name is... All right, Jabra Mind. He's very good. He's from the Star Pass, a very busted OP unit. Wow, Star Pass is ending in 70 hours. You might want to, you know, finish that up, guys. All right, next up we have the good supports. Now, there's nothing really to disagree with here. Honestly, guys, Akasa is good enough to pretty much solo every single mode. So, uh, I wouldn't really worry too much about that. Now, personally, I don't think I would ever bring Brook. All right, always bring Idol if you have if you have it. But if you don't, Brook's not bad. Um, as far as using these units, guys, I almost never recommend using these because Idol and uh, Speedwagon are just better. But if you're stuck with these, you might be able to beat raids, but it's gonna be really hard for you to solo the raids. All right, next up we have the Meta DPS tier. Now, I let's see which ones I like the most. Now, Metal Cooler guys obviously is very good. Now, um, before this list was uh made, they actually added another guy as well. So, um, uh, honestly, you can either bring a metal cooler or, of course, um, there is, I think he's one of these. Yeah, he should be one of these. Of course, there is our boy, um, uh, Exorcist as well, who's pretty much almost just as good as a uh, cooler. Very, very good unit. I would say this guy's the best. Now, other than that, I don't know if I would recommend anybody else except for Kirito, all right, for, like, general DPS. But um, in general, though, the Sid is very good as well. Now, Sid is OP. He's a tradable unit, but he has a 20% money bonus, which is really good. So I definitely think Sid is probably, like, higher than any of these units. 
Like, the one thing is, I disagree with... I feel like a lot of these units are not as good. Like, for example, this guy right here, Alibaba, he's not that good. All right, this Vegu, he's not that good, man. He's not that guy. He's kind of mid. So I definitely disagree with these two units right here. They should be um, uh, no higher than these guys. Like, I would honestly probably rather bring Chainsaw Man than this guy. So I disagree with that quite a bit. Now, Venom, I understand all these guys are very good. Aizen as well. Also, Springy's kind of overrated a little bit. Now, Springy, are they're good for the early story modes. So you can, like, solo them very fast. But as far as, like, beating a raid, they're kind of suck. So I don't really recommend it. Um, Toru is always good. Ace isn't bad, but I like Toru better than Ace personally. Um, as far as the support units go, um, Meliodas is going to be really hard to afford. So I don't really recommend Meliodas or Deku. Alright, maybe you could try him out, but I don't recommend him. Um, instead, I definitely agree with this. Uh, I think Blackbeard is the way to go for story mode along with Speedwagon and Idol. I personally use Idol and um, uh, Blackbeard whenever I solo stuff. He's, this is pretty much the dynamic combo. And then I do also use Asta as well. And then you can pretty much bring whatever dark unit you want. And then you just throw in Metal Cooler and you're chilling. So that's like story meta. Now if we want to take a look at raid meta right here, we'll take a look at this too. This one is a little bit more accurate of a list. So as far as air units go, I'm going to be honest guys, whenever I do a raid, guess what? I'm just solely using Metal Cooler for the airs. Solely Metal Cooler. And one thing they forgot to put in the air unit section, all right, maybe because it's kind of a DPS unit as well, is Asta. All right, Asta is better than every single one of these for air damage. All right, do not forget that. So Asta is the GOAT. And uh, I would say no matter what you're doing, always get Asta if you're trying to do, all right, raids. Asta and then just bring a bunch of dark units. That's the best strategy. Or you could go um, uh, Zamasu and Holy units. But uh, Asta is definitely the best. Now, there's a lot of units in here that I can't really recommend, like Raku or even Android. They're just not going to be really hard for you to solo raids with. But it's definitely possible. So, uh, I, I would say, in general, you want to bring th these units right here on the top tier. These guys right here are the goats. And throw in Metal Cooler. And my personal favorite combo is Blackbeard and Idol. Very good. I almost... I mean, Tanjiro is also not bad as well, depending on what map you're on. So, that's fair. But uh, I don't think I use Katakuri at all, so I don't really recommend Katakuri over Blackbeard. Now, as far as farms go, um, I'm going to be honest. The best farm option is Idol for um, uh, raids. Now, you can use Speedwagon and Idol together. I would recommend that for, like, the Wave 19 Plus raids. But um, other than that, not really good. Um, you can also kind of get away with Octo as well if you don't have um, uh, one of these two. That's not a bad, op bad option. Now, as far as leader boosts... All right, th this list does a good job at pointing them out. These are the best leader boost units. I personally like Sid the best. Tantra is a close second. But uh, I pretty much always rock with Sid. All right, there you go, guys. There is the list. I hope you guys enjoy. It's a little bit short of a video this time. And hopefully that kind of helps you out, like kind of what units you should focus on for the raids. And again, once again, big shout out to my boy Ryu. And uh, as well as Transdimensional. They're doing a great job holding up the Trello. And uh, yeah, hopefully we do get that update soon because we're kind of down bad for an update, not going to lie. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out and don't forget to subscribe.